porque good evening sabni dostan ke and uh, welcome to live hsc talk with kadir mahmood sumro uh, today we are uh, going to have a discussion on journey towards successful hsc profession and this uh, today we have uh, requested one of our uh, young professional who has uh, worked hard and he has proved himself and he prepared his road map to be a successful hsc professional so i would like to welcome our brother Akil Khwaja and uh, Akil welcome on board and first of all i would like to thank you for your time and uh, i really feel proud that you have uh, done a commendable work you prepared your road map and you planned properly and you came on the board and today you are a chartered hsc mm -hmm. professional thank you so, so much it's, so much, it's really an honor for me to have some time spent with you and you will support us with the ways the good things you did to reach to this level so i would like to go ahead the floor is yours please introduce yourself and then uh, after 2 3 minutes we are going to have uh, answer and question session so that we will make it more interactive so please again i am very much thankful to you for sparing time from your busy schedule please the floor is yours sure thank you so much brother mehbub tumro thank you for taking me on board and providing me an opportunity to discuss our today's session which is uh, on the topic uh, journey to a successful hsc profession in our today's uh, session of course we will discuss a plethora of tricks and techniques uh, on the hsc especially for those who are in the field of hsc so i would like to begin this session with my introduction uh, my name is akil khwaja i am a chartered health and safety practitioner with over 10 years of global field experience in wide range of industries including manufacturing engineering chemical fire services facility management and construction across uae on different location in dubai abu dhabi sharjah and northern emirates uh, throughout my career i got several opportunities to work with many big names for instance in my previous job adventure i got an opportunity to work with uae civil defense in ajman sharjah and rasul khaimah branches and currently i am performing my duties at national paints industries which is a multinational paint manufacturing company having its presence in africa asia and the middle east uh, my job role in the national paints is uh, at the headquarter of the national paints factories company limited which is situated in uh, sharjah industrial area number 13 main mohammed bin zaid road and i am performing my duties here as hsc team lead so Uh, regarding my originality i hail from uh, hyderabad which is uh, the cultural capital and the second largest city of the province of sindh i regarding my studies my primary education i got my schooling from uh, my hometown mirpur bathoro uh, which is uh, uh, situated in uh, district sujawal so after the completion of my college from mirpur bathoro i got admission in uh, mehran university of engineering and technology jamshoro Uh, where i did my bachelor of engineering and uh, in 2009 after completing my bachelor of engineering from mehran university of engineering and technology i got admission in post graduation in hsc engineering that i completed with the flying colors uh, at the moment i am uh, having the chartered membership from iosh uk and uh, i am having the affiliation from board of certified safety professionals uh, U usa as a transitional safety practitioner so uh, that was my brief uh, introduction uh, apart from it i have uh, worked in uh, different kind of construction projects uh, i worked in uh, abu dhabi based contractor 
uh, where I had exposure of the in the construction field. I worked uh, in the major projects like Dubai Airport Terminal 3 expansion. I worked in Ednog Housing in Ruiz. Uh, I worked in a couple of other projects in Abu Dhabi. And I worked in several maintenance projects. So that was my brief uh, introduction. Mr. Gadar, are you with me? So your mic is mute. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, very nice uh, brief about yourself. So you started your graduation in which year and which uh, discipline? You are mute. You are mute. I'm sorry for that. No problem. Actually, I got my admission in Meran University of Engineering and Technology in the year 2005 uh, in the discipline of computer system engineering. And I completed my degree from Meran University of Engineering and Technology in 2009. Regarding my post graduation, which I did for here from Dubai, I started my post graduation in the year 2015 and I completed in 2017. This is my regarding my academic uh, profile. If you're talking about my professional uh, certifications, I did my Nibosh IGC in uh, the year 2012. And then later on, I was keep doing different kind of certification and the qualification in the field of HSC, like ISO certification, like OSHAS, like HABC certification, like OSHA Academy certification, like different kind of certifications. And finally, in the year 2018, I qualified my level six diploma, which was the international diploma in safety engineering. And then later on, I got grade IOSH from the IOSH uh, UK. As I see, you, you have a very nice profile, but in a very short time, how you managed to do all these things? Uh, there is a famous proverb, when there's a will, there's a way. It's all about planning. If you make the planning and strategy, you can do everything. Nothing is impossible in the world. Excellent. Now, as I know that in the introduction, you told us that you have a computer science background, right? Yes. Then why you came to the HSE? Uh, yeah, that's really an interesting question. Actually, your education and your profession, these are two different things. It doesn't necessarily that the things which you read in your university or in your campus, you apply in your professional field. While I was in the final year of my university, I was inspired from the field of HSC. Why? Because one of my senior, after passing out from his university, he got the job in one of the famous oil and gas company in the district Dadu in Pakistan. Since. So I was really inspired from him. And the thing is, when you are going to work in the field of health, safety, and environment, you are serving the humans and humanity. You are having the interaction with the people. You are providing the welfare facilities, the well-being to the people. So if you are going to serve the humanity, it, it, it just increases your, your uh, level of understanding. And apart from it, safety is a passion. It's not a profession. That's why I joined HSC. But uh, being a computer science, how, how you convince the employer to give you the job? Because uh, if you have uh, social sciences or IT background, uh, yeah. it was really uh, difficult to end this field. Yeah, you are absolutely right. When I passed out from the university, at that time, I can clearly remember I got an internship at one of the contractors in the city of Hyderabad. That was my first job as an internee. So while I was doing my one year internship at, with this contractor, which was a civil contractor, I learned a lot of things. I learned the basic things in the safety, like permit to work system, safety inductions, risk assessments a loto system, different kind of uh, safety terminologies. So while working in the field of HSE, I really fell in love with HSE. I thought, why shouldn't I go and uh, continue my career into this field? Then I thought to have some kind of certification. I went, the first step was my IOSH managing safely. I can clearly remember I did it from one of the institution from Karachi. And then I did Nibosh and step by step, I got a large number of certification. And finally, I am here in front of you. Excellent. So yeah. you were a computer science student. You went to the HSE internship. You joined yeah. HSE field. Yes. You keep on yeah. learning. You you went for the uh, personal, we call it 
continual professional development. You started from IOSH managing safely, and then you reached to the level three HSE qualification NIBOSH, and then you went for the level six diploma. Excellent. So this is your uh, start of career in HSE certification. Do you think uh, HSE certification is investment or cost? Well, I guess it's some kind of investment. When you are going to invest some money on your, your profession, definitely tomorrow you will have the return of it. And it's not only the financial investment. It's, it is the investment with uh, terms of your efforts, your money, your time, your, your everything. Let's suppose if someone is going to have some kind of certification, he had to read out all the books. He has to go through different sources of information through internet, through uh, through books, through magazines, through newsletters, from different kind of sources. So this is investment. The investment which you are going to do today, tomorrow or day after, definitely it will return back to you. And that investment will be really fruitful for you. I'm sure regarding that. So. If you see yourself in a short period, yes, you did a commendable efforts. You became a chartered professional in the health, safety, and environment. What advices will you give to the professionals who are already in the field, like they are experienced people? So, what type of advices you want to give them so that they can? maintain their profile and make some continual professional development and they can reach up to the certain level yes Subro sir, that's really a good question you asked from me i would like to advise all the hsc professionals especially my juniors and uh, the one who are in uh, their mid levels they must prefer to have a lot amount of the certifications like what I saw, what I observed in our community, especially uh, the Sindhi HSE community, which are back home in Pakistan, uh, they are stuck at the same position. Like many people, if they have done Nibosh, they are not going beyond Nibosh. Because safety is continual improvement, continuous learning. If you will keep yourself up to date with new trends and new technologies of the safety, definitely one day you will rule the world. So this is what I think. And uh, apart from it, when you are going to have the certifications, the more the number of certifications, the more the number, uh, level of competence you will increase. It also increases your level of competence. It's not only you tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you will get a good opportunity, but also you will have an increased and enhanced level of competence. So this is also one of the reasons I will suggest to the people to have large number of certifications. Okay, so you are saying the people who are already in the field, I have seen many people, they are, they are, they are very keen to learn. Unfortunately, uh, in our country before, there was no any HSC certifications and qualifications. Now, what, what is happening now, Alhamdulillah, in uh, all over Pakistan, we have uh, really seasonal professionals who are doing commendable job. They are introducing HSC certifications across the Pakistan and we have uh, people all over the globe. They are learning many new things. So, so what I understood from you that first of all we should be having a job in HSE field. Being an HSE professional, what type of HSE qualifications you suggest to the people who are already experience i'm not talking about the fresh people huh? i'm talking Kadir, about the experienced people kadir sir your video is fixed i didn't get to what was your question because there uh, can you hear me now can you hear me now yeah, yeah i can hear you now yes okay my question is what type of hsc qualifications you recommend to the people who are already experienced actually it totally depends on their field of exposure their field of interest like if someone is uh, going to have uh, the auditor kind of work he must consider the lead auditing courses like iso courses iso 45001 courses iso 9001 courses iso 40 uh, 14001 courses if someone is having a different kind of uh, uh, what you call the work exposure let's suppose if someone is uh, entirely in the field of uh, uh, safety 
he must consider uh, nibosh igc he must consider uh, level 6 diplomas like he can go for the idsc diploma he can go for nibosh uh, diploma he can go for uh, uh, vocational kind of diplomas like nvq kind of diplomas Uh, so there are different kind of diplomas which they can avail it's not only the british standard there are american standards available in the market if we are talking about the bcsp which is the board of certified safety professionals there is uh, plenty of uh, safety certification from there they can consider the the good safety certification like transitional safety practitioner csp asp or uh, sms different kind of certification from there so there are plenty of uh, certification bodies in the world depending on their work exposure their interest of field depending on that okay so you talk about asp is american safety professional yes uh, and uh, associate safety professional sorry yes. csp is a certified safety professional and yes. then you talk about some um, hse qualification like level 6 diploma in nebosh level 6 yes. diploma in international uh, diploma in safety engineering international yeah. diploma in occupational safety and from british council you said uh, we can have nvq level 5 or an nvq level 6 national vocational qualification so yeah. these are the qualification and then if we want to move, move forward we have uh, graduation in occupational safety and health we have uh, masters in occupational safety and health and up to the phd excellent That's now uh, suppose if we have a fresh graduates mm -hmm. and they want to groom in this field uh what, what type of road map map you can advise them see uh, so first of the first and foremost thing is they need some work exposure when they are fresh so i recommend our students our brothers and sisters which are still in the in the phase of learning in university and colleges they must consider to have internships during their studies while they are having the admission in the first year and the second year of the university they must consider to have internships in different kind of industries like construction like oil and gas like facility management like industries there is plenty of uh, industries in the market so they can obtain the internship especially in their summer uh, vacations there is plenty of time they have two months couple of months within a couple of months they can learn a lot of uh, docu safety documentation they can learn lots of uh, site safety implementation they can learn lots of safety trends so this is the first and foremost thing secondly if uh, someone has no financial issue he is financially sound they must consider doing the certifications from very beginning because the people like like us we wasted a lot of time because when uh, i can still remember when i was in university i had no clue like what is nibosh when i when i reached in the, my final year i came to know from my seniors like this is the certification and this is how you can enter in the field of hsc so without wasting any further time they must consider this kind of certification from their college level from their university level so this is number 2 and uh, number 3 they must have read the safety material safety content from different kind of uh, sources of information let's suppose they can go through websites they can watch uh, youtube videos now uh, at the moment there are uh, an abundance of videos available on the internet on youtube they can youtube mr kadir memu sumro his videos are available on the youtube <laughs> they can find other safety professionals uh, local and international safety professionals their videos are, are also available on the internet they can subscribe to to newsletters they can subscribe to magazines they can subscribe to many sources of safety information so these are the three recommendation which i would like to give to juniors or the the people who are in, still in the learning phase thank you very much very important thing first of all they have to be graduated this is my request because i have yes. seen matriculate people who want to be safety professional they yes. can be I, there's no doubt but if you want to grow in this field you should have a minimum graduation Absolutely. you should do some hsc certification and qualifications and the most important thing i want to add in uh, akil's uh, input is soft skills your presentation skills your communication skills your computer skills your presentation skills your english language uh, language is very very important for us gentlemen ladies and gentlemen i would like to request every one of you if you want to be a good hsc professional your english language should be good now as we are discussing the fresh candidates we have one of our brother mr mohammad shehbaz rajpar he is saying sir i need a guidance i want to join nebosh field 
uh, I have done B civil engineering and postgraduate diploma in structural engineering. Uh, where should I join the classes? Suggest any good institute. So, uh, Mr. Mohammed Sebaz Rajbir is my neighbor and my younger brother. He used to live back home uh, in Hyderabad in my neighborhood. So Excellent. I can, yeah, I can suggest you. You, it's a good field if you want to really want to join the field of HSC. Uh, I know you are a competent guy, and uh, if you will come in the field of HSC, you can rock the world. You can rock the field of HSC. So better you start your certification from uh, Nibosh, or if you like to go, you just join from Ayush Managing Safely. So uh, this will be really fruitful for you, Mr. Mohammed Shabazz. So I, I will take the advantage. If we have any question, we can immediately ask in between the session. So the floor is open. Anybody has any question, most welcome, you can ask. Uh, OK, so we talk about the experienced people. We talk about the uh, uh, fresh graduates or uh, the new entrants or the people who, who want to join us. So what is your opinion or what are the challenges you face? when you started your career in HSE? Well, there was uh, plenty of uh, challenges which I faced while I started my career back in 2010. Uh, the first and foremost thing was the awareness. Because we people, we don't have trend. If you go 10 years back to Pakistan, we had no trend of the safety in the common environment. Like if you find the contractors in the small cities like Hyderabad and Sakhar and Mirpur Khas, even in Karachi, you would not find the, the safety 10 years back. So at that time, it was really difficult and challenging and daunting for me to make the people understand like you have to adopt the safety, health, occupational health and safety. So this is how like the teaching people, mentoring people, coaching people, that was a big difficulty for me at that time because I was uh, not having such kind of knowledge which I'm having now. 10 years back, I was a beginner. So it was really a challenge for me. We have one uh, question here, Akib Nazir. He is saying, sir, I am Gaid Ayush. Kindly guide me how to become CM Ayush. Very nice question. Yeah, Akib Nazir is uh, very simple. Uh, now, Alhamdulillah, you are Gaid Ayush. So what you need to do, you have to request uh, Ayush customer service uh, for your uh, registration to CM Ayush. OK, they will, uh, you have to pay 160 pounds to them. And they will just uh, give you one login and ID. And you will have uh, the access to the IOSH, uh, CM IOSH microsite on that, depending on uh, your uh, level six certification. Let's suppose if you are having the NVQ level six or level five, they will, uh, they will provide you open assessment. And if you are having some kind of other certification, let's suppose NIBOSH or IDAC or this kind of certification, they will uh, give you uh, uh, one process which is known as IPD. So you have to go through a system which is known as skill development portfolio. In the skill development portfolio, what you need to do, there is a list of criteria given there. And from this list, you have to select only seven criteria out of this. And after you select the criteria, what you need to do one by one, you need to go into the criterion. You have to find the activities, outcomes, put the evidence, write the reflective account. So there is a uh, big procedure. So you have to follow the procedure. And then finally, you have to appear in the interview, which is known as the peer review interview. That is the board interview. There are three uh, members from IOSH. Mostly one is the chair and two senior members. They will interview you. If you qualify the interview, they will award you the CM IOSH. Excellent. Very, 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 very explained, uh, Akhil Saab. I have a Thank small you. input on it because you told us about your route. We have people yeah. with some other routes also. So the yes. people who has done international diploma in safety, either of the uh, level six qualification, uh, based on your qualifications and CV and uh, all, Ayush is going to review your profile and send you the route. Let's say like Akil did the international diploma in safety engineering. So he went for a skill development portfolio. This is called it a IPD, initial professional development. Next one is people who has done vocational qualifications. They will go for open book assessment. Now, open book assessment is again uh, in two ways. One is uh, there are some multiple choice questions, which is part A. And then there is a two descriptive questions, which is part B. So once you clear this one, and, uh, and then you will go for the CPD audit, and then you go for the PRI interview. Inshallah, uh, in next sessions, we are going to do 
a couple of sessions on how to become CM Ayush. And this is a just brief. Uh, I have one guy, uh, has another question. Uh, sir, I have done Ayush managing safely and Nebo IGC from Safety Standard Consultant uh, Islamabad. Kindly tell me how to avail job in HSC because I'm fresh with zero experience. So people with zero experience, what is your advice with, to them? Uh, you, you, can, you can take the reference from my story. I had the zero experience 10 years, 12 years back. What I did, I got an internship and I worked there for free. It was not for earning, but it was for learning. Because when you want to learn something, there is zero earning. So I suggest you, I recommend you, I advise you, my brother, you just go for an internship. From the internship, you will learn lots of things in the field of safety because safety is very vast field. I some people they say safety is an ocean. So even we people we don't know the, the entire safety because process safety is different, oil and gas safety is different, industrial safety is different, construction safety is different. All the safety trends are different. But the best basic bottom line, the basic uh, theory, the basic concept is the same. So better you go for the internship. Or you can learn the thing from the online content which is available because now there's a time of the social media. You can get the information from uh, IOSH website, from HSC website, from uh, OSHA websites. There, there are different kind of uh, websites available. YouTube, you can learn the things from there. Thank you, Akhil. Uh, here, uh, I just want to bring you back to the question. His question was, I have a zero experience. How I can join the session? I mean, how, how can join the field? So yes, of course, you are the role model for us that he can start from the uh, internship or he can go to the some company to start job without any uh, charges like an internship free of cost and then they can groom. I have seen many candidates, they sacrifice by themselves. They started their career uh, without salary and today they are HSE managers and directors. Very interesting question from one of our uh, frequent viewer, Ada Aves Nizamani Saab. He is yes. chemical engineer, Nebosh and IO certified, currently working in UAE in HSC field. What kind of HSC opportunities are available in UAE except construction and how to grab these opportunities? See, Mr. Aves Nizamani, there are an abundance of opportunities which are available in United Arab Emirates because this is the international place. You will find lots of opportunities. The only thing is your target, your goal in which you field you want to enter. Okay. So the opportunities in HSC is more than construction. You can enter an industry, you can enter an oil and gas, you can enter in different kind of industry. So you have to make the portfolio. You have to make your profile in, in according to your, your target. Okay, and your experience also matters. Let's suppose if you are having the experience of construction, it is difficult for you to enter in, uh, in different, let's suppose chemical industry. It is difficult although, but it's not impossible. If you can grow your your skills, your level of competence, your uh, qualifications, yes, you can enter in other fields. Thank you, uh, Akhil. We have one more interesting question uh, from uh, Mohammad Abdul Rahman. A very informative session. Thank you very much. Please guide on preparation of level six diploma. So, what type of tips you can give quickly to them on preparationing uh -huh. for a level six diploma? Uh, he is asking about which kind of diploma he is asking about idsc about nvq level 6 about the bosch diploma because you know well that the yeah, this question is a little bit journal so uh -huh. uh, i will help you to uh, just from my input uh, preparation of level 6 diploma now first of all you have to choose which level 6 diploma you want to do uh, you want to do uh, nebosch international diploma you want to do a uh, vocational diploma you want to do any other hsc diploma now, preparation depends upon the type of units, the syllabus, and your level of competency. So I'm not challenging here your competency level. I'm saying uh, the the NL, OK, Nebosh level uh, 6, uh, he, he just cleared how to prepare himself in the Nebosh level 6 diploma. Thank you, Abdurrahman. Any suggestion from your side? I guess that answer would be better from Mr. Kadir Memo Sumro because <laughs> <laughs> I have done entirely different thing from IDSC, so I have. No yeah. Other, uh, I, I will suggest you to, uh, as you know, that uh, there are uh, four units: unit A, B, C, and D. So my suggestion will be: you go by unit wise, and nowadays, you know, uh, online studies are available, uh, so you need to be prepared for it. Uh, I had uh, some videos on my YouTube channel. 
uh, on uh, uh, revision tips, how you can revise, like mind mapping, preparing uh, prompt cards, uh, or you can prepare your uh, uh, small notes so that you can go for the roadmap. And once you teach, you learn more. So you try to grab somebody junior, try to teach him so that your knowledge will be enriched. And inshallah, once you will go for the exam, it will not be difficult. Uh, it takes too much time. You can send me offline message. Uh, we can chat. Even I can call you so that we can discuss in detail. I have very interesting question from our brother, Ahmad Tahir Chohan, one of the experienced and well worth HSE professional and uh, really a gentleman. He's asking, want to know your thoughts about qualifications versus experience. What do you think? One should go get all qualification first and then go for experience or start a journey with minimum qualifications and gradually get the experience. See, Mr. Ahmed Tahir Johan, you have really asked an interesting question. Uh, let me explain to you in a way that qualification and experience both are two lines of the railway track. If you keep qualification back, you cannot survive. If you keep the experience back, you cannot survive. Here, survive means if you really want to grow in the field of HSC, you have to take both the things together. You need to take qualification and experience because if you grow your number of qualification, you will you are actually increasing and enhancing your level of competence. On the other hand, when we are talking about the experience, there is a famous proverb: experience has no shortcut. So the, the things which you are going to learn from experience are the practical things. The things which you are going to learn from your qualification or from your certification are the theoretical things. But when you combine both together, let's suppose if you are an experienced guy and you are going to have a qualification, of course, that experience which you got in your practical life will help you to acquire your qualification. So my suggestion, these both are the two lines of the railway track. Just carry on both together. Uh, thank you, Akhil. We have another question from uh, Nadim. He's saying excellent session, excellent session. Also advise us to groom ourselves in HSC field. Means the first question of how the, we can, how you can guide them to groom in the HSC field and how, what is your guidance regarding IDSE, how to pass it? Yeah, Mr. Nadim, regarding your groom in the field of HSC, you have to increase your uh, your your level of competence how we can increase the level of competence through continual continual improvement through learning through certification through qualification okay through having a membership or affiliation or accreditation of different bodies let's suppose io let's suppose bcsp let's suppose bcrsp so you can have plenty of learning from there so once you are having to uh, you are you are you are going to have the learning of course you will groom your your knowledge and uh, everything in the field of hse Regarding IDSE, uh, this is the written examination, and you have to appear in the two units. And uh, one unit is uh, for five hours, and in that, I think around 14 questions, and you have to appear that. So there are uh, a couple of institutes here in Dubai. They are offering IDSE. If you want, I can inbox you their numbers and all the details. Thank you. Uh... Khawaja Saab, uh, now let, let's go to the Next question, who motivated you and mentor you to grow in this field? Yeah, that's really an interesting question, uh, Kadir Saab. Actually, I had plenty of mentors, plenty of coaches who, who had been involved in coaching me and just growing my, exp my skills and uh, level of competence. But here, particularly, I will I, I would like to dis, uh, explain about my two mentors to whom I will uh, remember lifetime. Uh, number one is uh, my ex-manager in National Pants Factories Company Limited. His name is Mr. Faisal Shahzad Memon. Uh, now he is in U.S. in Houston, Texas. Uh, he is the one who motivated me, who who encouraged me to have the the more the number of uh, certification. He 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 mentored me personally. To have learning to increase my learning i can still remember that, that the good time which i spent with him all the time when we whenever we are going to have some kind of conversation he was busy in teaching me something 
uh, that is number one and number two i would appreciate your uh, efforts towards especially getting cmios you really helped me in especially in the peer review interview in preparation of cmios i really appreciate your mentoring and coaching and and uh, and getting such kind of big award in my life no no it's your all hard work dedication and no doubt ada faisal is one of the icon in hsc field and he has supported many hsc professional and we really miss him in the uae uh, though he has been in usa but he's always with us he's a man of the knowledge and very competent person and uh, regarding me i am always available to support all the people across the globe and uh, this is my hobby to support each other and learn and grow in this field i just go back to other, our brother ahmed tahir shawan he saying thanks for such a nice explanation on my question actually many of our professional looking for job and they get iosh certification available in the market lots of certifications available in the market yes ahmed bhai thank you very much uh we have one more question from ikhlaq ahmed boza boza yes great discussion how to move from construction safety to operation or process safety what hsc qualifications are most suitable for operation and process safety profession see ikhlaq uh, if you really want to change your field from construction to industrial safety or process safety you need to develop your uh, your your profile your learnings now what you can do there is plenty of industrial uh, safety courses there is a, like let's suppose you can have the master's degree in industrial safety from one of the recognized university worldwide there is number of universities available in europe in uh, british in america even in pakistan you will find some kind of university apart from it you have to increase your knowledge because i told you in the beginning that the construction safety and the process safety or the industrial safety is entirely different so you have to enhance your 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 level of competence your knowledge how you can increase you have to read the books you have to go through internet you have to google you have to youtube you have to learn from uh, mentors and coaches okay and then the third thing you need to keep applying you just find the data of the industrial or the process safety organizations make a cv and then you just keep applying to their find the emails of their hr their recruitment manager their hiring managers so if you will keep applying in these kind of organizations one day i'm sure you will have the offer letter from there excellent uh, simal edition uh, uh, from my side if you want to come in operation and process you should have an engineering background if you don't have engineering background try to get it engineering background do some diploma or uh, degree uh, distance learning of course it's nowadays available and due to the pandemic situation this has opened a wide opportunities for the people to do distance learning so you can have an engineering degree mandatory if you want to go in this field number 2 you have to do again uh, hsc certifications or you have to attend some hsc workshop like hazop has it operability you have to go for uh, some of workshops you have to go for uh, bolt eye analysis you have to go for some other technical hsc uh, qualifications so that and process and operation so that you can groom more uh, yes uh, nasir is saying uh, excellent session okay so uh, if we don't have question let's go to another question uh, my next question is that okay raj gopal is a useful uh, session sir uh, i am working as hsc officer and i want to boost my career i have uh, side experience by i do not have documentation explain how to build myself want to go up in the field please suggest sir means he is not uh, uh, good in hsc documentation so how do you suggest what you suggest him to improve see ravi raj you have to if you are not in good in documentation or if you are not involved in the site safety documentation at your company what you need to do is nowadays there is a time of social media there is a time of internet all the safety documentation everything is available on the internet either you want to get it globally or you want to get the the local level let's suppose if i'm talking uh, the international documentation formats you can get help from uh, british organizations such as hsc such as uh, uh, iosh such as different kind of organization you can go to osha websites you can get the documentation format from there you can get the local uh, information from let's suppose in abu dhabi we have osha cops you can get the certif- uh, the documentation uh, formats from there you can in, if you are in dubai you can get the formats from uh, tarakhis from dubai municipality 
if you are in sharda you can go to the sharda safety and prevention authority so there are a list a big list of organization from where you can get the formats you can learn you can study the books so i i recommend you i suggest you if you are not involved on site you spend every day one or two hours just to find out these documents let's suppose policies procedures processes permit to work loto all these documents are available you can view it and you can learn from these documents uh, thank you very much akil very well explained now uh, if we are going to summarize today's session so uh, can you can you add something uh, to summarize this session yeah i would like to add like to this session is uh, on the topic of journey towards successful hsc profession and uh, we just arranged this session because i got the cm ayush now when you told that we are going to arrange a se session so that you we can share the tricks and techniques about hsc so that the, the people who are involved in the field of hsc especially juniors they can learn something from us so i will recommend them keep learning hsc is not today you learn and you forget you say I, i now i know everything it's not like this keep learning keep learning keep learning from ayush managing safely up to level 6 up to cm ayush up to cf ayush because learning has no age so keep learning and keep keep increasing your level of competence this is how you can be a successful hsc professional okay we have one more question that uh, sir you said to go for the experience and do some internship what are the internship opportunity opportunities in the hsc field because there are number of internships in other field so basically he is asking do we have some hsc internship opportunities nowadays in pakistan actually regarding pakistan i cannot say anything about pakistan because now there is you know the covid 19 situation and the market is little but little bit decreased but whenever someone is has the reference this is the first thing he can get the internship easily Uh, number 2 my dear friend you keep applying okay don't go in frustration never upset keep applying keep applying keep your your hard work one day i'm sure you will get the internship and you will learn lots of things and one day you will get your target and destination now i just want to add you recently i my, myself saw some of the aids for hsc internship so now the things are changing in pakistan alhamdulillah now we have uh, osh act as well and uh, now we have seen that people are changing their behaviors they are hiring hsc professionals and uh, multinational companies are very much eager to learn about hsc and they are asking people to join them so i have seen nowadays some internships being offered by good companies so it is suggested please keep an eye on news <coughs> newspapers especially the newspaper and of course the social media to see if there are some other uh internship opportunities uh i think akil uh, this has been a great session we learned a lot from you uh, we had some uh, good uh, interesting question from the people as well so finally i would like to thank you and uh, i would request you that spare your time inshallah soon we are going to do some couple of other sessions so that we can coach our people and we will guide them so i want to thank you and appreciate you for the time you spent with us and we pray for you your future goals future endeavors and wish you good luck and success ahead thank you, you mr kadir thank you all the beautiful people thank you very much and uh, let's close the session and thank you very much i have to close the session so appreciate your time Okay ladies and gentlemen now it's time to go and i would like to thank everyone who participated keep an eye on our sessions soon see you in our coming sessions and inshallah it, those will be also very useful don't forget to like our page for uh, future uh, sessions and visit our youtube channel live hsc talk with kadir mahmood sum thank you very much I think uh, uh, thank you Akil Khwaja yes Sarman uh, how can I help you my friend yes uh, Sarman if you have any question
please ask me how can i help you thank you amar yasin uh, sarman uh, if you have any question i am available uh, akil just left us if you have any question i can support you with thank you all for the comments thank you very much uh, sarmad if you have any question uh, most welcome otherwise uh, we are going to sign out now okay ladies and gentlemen see you soon please don't forget to like our page and youtube channel for future sessions Take care. Allah Hafiz.